fourth sister cities commission meeting to order roll call has been done in jane's absence um next agenda approval of the agenda i move that we approve the agenda second we have a motion to second all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. opposed same sign motion carried and approval of the minutes of the two february 4th 2019 sister cities commission i move that we approve the um january i will second that fine motion february and motion by brian seconded by brian all in favor signify by saying aye. aye aye opposed same sign motion carried financial report need a motion to approve there's nothing that we spent nothing that's come in <laughs> <laughs> i'll make a motion okay second. Dana Bryan. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. <coughs> Motion carried. All right, so the exchange program. Inbound candidate. We have. Oh, hi, Jane. We have asked Craft and New Orleans Medical Center, and I don't know if you guys have heard anything. I, I emailed Toby, and, um, and then I emailed him again today, and I have not gotten a response. I called the human resources department out there. Okay. And I have not heard back yet either, but. Um, when you initially approached it, did they sound favorable? Okay. I mean, they did, but. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wanted information. Okay. And I sent the information you wanted me for craft, but have you heard anything? I haven't heard anything. I was wondering if you had heard anything. No, I have not. Okay, I'll follow up. Okay. I think one of the biggest things before we can commit to two candidates is that we have the security of the, em not the employment, but the internship. Right. right? right mm -hmm. Okay. Um, outbound candidates, we have six applicants this year, That's which is fantastic. Unbelievable. <laughs> From the <laughs> previous year of Very zero. Well so I know on that okay, committee, um, is Jane, Brian, and Dana, Brian Service, and Dana. So you guys need to get yeah, together and agenda. figure out, right, yeah. and Vicki and I are on agenda that as well, but what would work. And I think you work with Lisa, to, she'll get in, back in touch with them. If you guys can come up with some dates that would work to get them in here to interview, have them come down to interview. And I'm assuming some of them may have to be on a Saturday probably because they're coming from the metro area yeah i would assume so if we get it all done on maybe a saturday morning through mid-afternoon or something i'll let you guys figure it we've out we've done it on weekday evenings before where they've come down I'm yeah they have so yeah. okay so that could work too i think that'd be an option for you huh you set up a day and say here's when we're doing it and here's the times mm -hmm. brian do you remember because it's when how long have you were you in the interview process before yes half hour 45 minutes depending on the candidate I, i'm trying to think it's been a while but i mean i think we got through like four or five candidates yeah i suppose in about two hours two and a half okay. yeah, something like that yeah. okay so we could schedule them 45 minutes apart and mm -hmm. see if they can show up in pretty much here or if this is closed we can't do it we anymore. were down on what in the bowels Bob, weren't we? Or we we've down been down in, in the, the bowels. Down in the lunchroom. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. we've done them down there because this was busy other times too. Yep. Okay. And as long as I have my. Yeah, but what is it, if it's not open on nights or weekends? What, did you do them? We did ours. I think they were mostly week nights. We started about six, I think. And okay. uh, if they had to come from a distance, we just scheduled them a little later. But I think we did them always on a week. The times I was on that that That'd committee, be week then we can maybe pick two nights and say who can make. I think that might you might have better luck with them too than trying to catch them on a weekend too. I, I would just. Maybe. And if I'm available, uh, I can get us into the, the building. So. Okay. I took his keys one time and I had him for an interview, so I have all the keys. So that's <laughs> not an issue. Good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we should be in touch with them. Uh, the only issue that we had is we had one candidate that was outside the age yes. requirement. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on that? Hold to the age requirement and have Lisa have just let them know. If there's I a reason for the age requirement, I would assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, it was, I thought when I was reading the, her, her, um, her resume. resume and her response or her application that she it sounded like she only wanted to go for about two weeks yes yeah yes like that's what i got deal. out of it too I did yeah. too yeah and so it's not i wonder if she realizes that it's, it's a three months yeah, yeah. it says right here yeah mm -hmm. yeah 
<clears throat> so I would maybe we up. need to inform her that of that when we schedule her appointment, and that'll make a decision whether or not she wants to go forward or not. Either the, either that, or you stay with I the rules. I say we stay, yeah, stay with the age requirements. Yeah. Be yeah. done with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in favor yeah, of staying with too. the age requirements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, right. we need to. I don't think we need to vote on that because it's no. set. Just the rules are set. Unfortunately, set on that. within the age requirements, we appreciate you. I'll have Lisa send her a letter then and just say we yes. appreciate your interest. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit the parameters of our program. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means we have to schedule the five right. that we have. Okay. Anything else with the outbound candidates? Maybe us five can get into an email correspondence to see what kind of dates work or nights, evenings work. And it'd be nice to get this done maybe in March because I know they're all waiting for a response from us. Yeah, sure. And I know Dorothea over there is waiting for a response from us too. I think Doodle works pretty good, right? Where they, they can pick which nights or which days yes. they can come. Yep. And just set it up and set it, it up out there and who knows how to doodle <laughs> I don't uh, I know what you mean I have Lisa Lisa does good yeah. we'll set her to dates and she'll send them out to her perfect yeah okay I've seen it I responded to him I think it's nice if you can do them all in one shot I agree I mean, yeah, and be done yep yeah it's gonna and be tough to get five of them though I mean done it I mean other times we've done it I mean yeah Okay. All right, the Brat Stand and other announcements. We have the Brat Stand dates of June 13 and 14 and August 20 and 21. Uh, we just need to start filling the August 13, or June 13 and 14 date. That, that came, it came in the back of your packet as well. So if there's dates that, and I think this went out to the friends and everybody else, so hopefully email back to Lisa and let her know what dates and times may work for you. If you'll look into that, I'd greatly appreciate it. We're gonna need to raise a little more funds if we have the dual two candidates coming, which hopefully we can accommodate. All right, any other thing, anything else we're missing? No? We'll sit together, we'll get exchange emails so we can all kind of pick some times and dates. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. All right, other than that, I'll make an, I'll accept a motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. We are adjourned.